Howdy do, Ranger Roos. It is your friendly instructor, Dr. Bach, here. And I am going to be taking you through today, creating a basic keychain. Here is the uh, basic drawing of what we're going to be working on. And this is the 3D um, uh, Autodesk Inventor version right here. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to file, new, and part. So file, new, part. Right there. Now this one I'm going to have you do something a little bit differently. We're going to change the units to millimeters. So using the tools tab, we're going to go to document settings, click units, length right here from inch down to millimeter, and then click on apply. This will then change the entire piece that we have to metric. Next, click on the 3D model tab up here, and let's check out our dimensions for the overall keychain. Now you'll notice up here that it is 60 millimeters by 30 millimeters, so let's get started with that right there. Start 2D sketch, choose the XY plane, uh, rectangle tool, drag it up and to the right, and I am going to enter 60, uh, let me, 60 millimeters, come on. There we go, 60, then hit the tab key, and 30, then hit the enter key. That gives us our rectangle. Click on finish sketch, and we have our rectangle made. Let's go back to this right here. When we look at our overall thickness right here, well, let me dimension this. We've got four millimeters thick. So let's go ahead, go to our part, and we are going to extrude four millimeters. So click on four millimeters right there, hit enter, and we have that uh, extruded on out. Let's go back to our drawing, and now we have, there we go, we have our overall rectangle made. So we're going to go ahead and extrude or cut in this area that the letters fit in. We see that it has a wall thickness of three millimeters. So back to our part, start 2D sketch, click on the face of that, zoom in, use my rectangle tool. Now I am just going to arbitrarily click anywhere there draw it right down there. It doesn't matter the dimensions at this point because now we are going to click the dimension from there to there and change that to three millimeters. Same thing. Click, click, change that to three. Click, click, change that to three click, click, oops, dimension, click, click, change that to three. So it makes the math a little bit easy. Now we are going to finish sketch right here and click the extrude, but let's check out our dimensions right here. If we look up at the top view, it goes from there to the face of that is two millimeters. So extrude, but click on this right here to cut. Change it to two and click on your center rectangle. Okay, if you didn't see that, let me do it again. Extrude, cut, change it to two, click in your center rectangle and that extrudes the channel on out. Now we're going to switch over and round over our edges right there. We're going to use a fillet tool. If we look at our area right here, uh, our radius 
is, oh, I don't have that done. The radius is uh, three millimeters, if I remember right. Let's go back here, fill it. Two millimeters, let's try that. Nope, that's too much. So fill it, one millimeter. There we go. And I am going to choose all of the outward edges. So it's a one millimeter fillet all the way around the outside. And click OK. And we have this right here. At this point, now that we've finished that, it's time to save it. So File, Save As. We are going to find our S drive right there. And then change this to keychain underscore your last name. So for me, it will be Bach right there. Because it's just a good, um, it's a good habit to get into to save your work in case your computer goes down, there's a power surge or anything like that. So we have this saved on our S drive as keychain underscore Bach right here. Now, go back to the front view. It's time to put in our words. So 2D sketch, and I am going to click in there. Let me zoom out. Use the text tool, and I am going to draw, drag a box right on across there and release. Then I am going to put my last name. So for me, it will be B A C H. Uh, you can do all caps, you can do lowercase, you can even change the uh, lettering if you want. However, highlight this. Click on the center tab right there for center justification. And if you want to choose a different font, you are more than welcome to choose a different font. However, um, make it a very simple font. Uh, very small lines don't 3D print well, which is what we're going for. I like to just use Tahoma right here. Click on OK, and you'll notice that it is sort of in the wrong place and it's also too small based on our example right here. So here we get to have a little bit of fun. Click on move and then click on our letters. Click on base point and put it right in the middle of our last name. Now we can drag that right in the middle of our work right there and done. Now scale. Click on our letters, base point, right in the middle, and we can make it bigger. Oftentimes it's not completely centered up, which is no big deal, because we can move that again. Select, base point, and we can put it exactly where we want it. Click Done, and Finish Sketch. Now it's time to extrude. So right here, we can make our letters stick out. So click on Extrude. We're going to extrude this two millimeters. Click on our letters, and bam! Right there, they pop on out. We've got one last piece to put in, which is the hole right here that our keychain will actually go through. 2D sketch, click on the face, click on point. We are going to locate that right about in the center right there. Um, I know it's hard to see in here, but believe me, there we go, it is there. Um, I'm not dimensioning this because you may have to put it in a different place based on your last name and how big you make the letters. So once you have that point installed, finish sketch, click on hole, and you can see the hole automatically goes right there. Let's check it. And it's a three millimeter hole. 
me check right there. Three millimeter hole. And if we look at this, it's just a basic hole through all. And right there we have it. Now we can change some colors if we want. So let me fix uh, extrusion one. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to say I want that blue. There we go. Sky blue dark. Click on extrusion two. I want that sky blue dark. Click on our fillet. I want that sky blue dark. Okay, looks good. I'm going to click on our extrusion for our letters, and I want that white. And our hole right there, that's sky blue dark as well. Now if I want to, I can go back and change any of the colors. If I want uh, my fillet, for example, a different color, I can go ahead and change that to white. And if I want that, I can change that as well. There we go. So that is our keychain. At this point, everything is done. We're going to click the save icon. It's already saved on our S drive. Now we have to generate the code to 3D print these. So with this saved in your uh, S drive, make sure you save it, you're going to click on the file and then print. Go to send to 3D print service and click. Now this generates what's called an STL file. STL file is able to be read by 3D printers. Click OK. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. Again, we're saving to our S drive. It has the same keychain underscore Bach saving as STL file. So I am going to click Save. And that now generates the STL file to 3D print. Once you have the STL file done, ask me for a flash drive. You are going to copy the STL file onto the flash drive so that I can 3D print it for you. Okay, that is how to make a basic keychain. I want you to stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need in order to create this object.